All right, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Junction City. So the last time I left you, um, we kind of only had like a main entrance and one ride and stuff. And now if you look over to the left, you got some kind of wooden coaster going on. So that's probably one of the new additions to the park. Um, I know it's been a while since we've been in this park, but um, this is, you know, just kind of my side, I guess, side piece. Um, but yeah, we got, you know, uh, the same little area up in the front, um, bathhouse, soap and bubbles, Maddie's bathhouse, Cl uh, cactus calamity, so this is the flat ride. Um, if you're new here, uh, please leave a like and a subscribe, and also if you don't know what this park is going to be, it's nothing like Serenity now. So this is not going to have backstage, not going to have realism. Um, basically, just think of it as a western city, uh, western town um, that's going to just have rides in it. And the difference of this than any other western park you've seen, it's actually going to have four different lands, and those lands are only connected by the train. So like kind of... I'm trying to make it like kind of realistic western where like, you know, you can't get to the another uh, area without the train. So if you're wondering what this is over here, I had to make this barrier and I just want to have these two having like a little gunfight like, you know, in, in the um, uh, like the street or whatever. Um, but I didn't want the people to walk through the middle and stuff. So uh, if you don't know, these uh, red ropes are pretty good to keep people out. And it was keeping out, I'd say, 90% of the people. But every now and then I have like one person sneak by. So then I added all these plants on the outside. And now no one will go through the middle. Um, these will all be sunk down into the ground. I made them all, um, you know, like um, a building, one building or one piece. So I'm going to sink those all down to the ground. So when we come back from the update, you'll see that, you know, it's just, they're not there anymore. Um, I figured this area, it has a gift shop, but, you know, it has a gift shop and a bathroom. That's what uh, a Carla's, what is it, Carla's General Store. That's a gift shop. It's actually a hat shop, if you didn't know. Um, and they only sell cowboy hats. Um, and then, you know, again, the Maddie's Bathhouse is a bathroom. And then we have the one flat ride. Um, Jan's locksmith is actually the, uh, the staff building, and the sheriff's department is nothing really. It's just a little house I made. I thought it was cool. So I figured we needed a drink stand, so here's a little, uh, the pip shop juice, I think it is. So this is gonna be something. I haven't figured it out yet, but it's gonna be some kind of drink stand. And then we got the coaster put in. Uh, everything's not done. So this roller coaster is actually called Holy Roller. And if you're thinking, why is it called Holy Roller? Well, it's going to be a church. You know, every little western town needs a church. So this is going to be like a little cemetery. Um, I started the queue path here. And then I'm going to turn this whole entire, um, uh, you know, the, the coaster building, the coaster house, into an actual church. Um, I actually like this ride. Um, it's... It's a pretty good family coaster. I didn't want to go too crazy with anything. Let me zoom out a little bit. Hold on. Um, I didn't want to go crazy with too too much with anything with this ride because, again, the sight lines. Um, I I have four lands planned, so this is one. It's almost this land is almost done. So the next land is going to be way over there. If you're wondering what those are. Those are the corners. Those are the corners of the map. So those are the two corners there, and those are the two corners there. So that's as big as the map is. So I have to fit one straight away in the middle, one land there, one land over here, and then one land over there. And like again, I don't want them to really be seen from the other lands, so I didn't want the hugest, you know, wooden coaster um, that you could really see. Like I don't mind if you see some of it, but I just didn't want to see all of it. Um, same thing with this view up front, you know, like, I, I didn't want it to be, like, very overpowering from here. So, you know, it just kind of clears the uh, the front uh, buildings a little bit. Um, the ride is actually really good. Um, I'm not the greatest coaster builder ever, but, um, you know, it, it's it's an actually pretty smooth ride. It's pretty fun. I think it's, I think it's green all the way through, and... Um, 
It's got a pretty good excitement rating and stuff like that, so the guests will go on it. Again, it's not um, like Serenity now. It's not going to be like super realistic, so there is no transfer track and stuff like that. There is no maintenance, you know, you know, stuff like that. So uh, it was actually a little weird building this and not putting in a transfer track. I haven't done that in, like you know forever. So um, yeah, this is uh, I think it's pretty good. I think it looks okay. I'm probably going to add like you know some supports under here you know like when you make the track it erases some so i'll make some supports under there maybe the one over there i don't know yet um so i guess that would be the first update so let's go outside and then we'll schedule this second update from here all right and just like that we're back all right so i don't know if you can see too much from here there's a light on the top of the uh, track right there maybe a couple more trees um, I think when we get in, we'll be able to see a lot more. So again, the front, remainly the s re remain. <laughs> it's still the same, kind of. Um, didn't do too much. Uh, let's go over here, I guess, to the first building. And it is now called Lyrics Elixirs. So Lyric is one of my buddies from Discord. That's his Discord name, Lyric. Um, so I just made him this nice little, uh, I guess, elixir herbal medicine place. Um, yeah, I think it came out pretty cool. Kind of fits the rest of the style. I didn't want to go crazy with, like, you know, too much of the details and stuff. Because this is kind of supposed to be mainly, like, the poorer town. <laughs> um, the other the other towns will be a lot different. The, the next town over might is going to be, like, the one that has a little bit more money. Um, the one in the back might be, um, I don't know yet, something to do with, like, uh, mining. And then the last one might be Mexico. I haven't decided yet. Um, but here you go. Here's a couple of the guys, you know, doing their little shootout. And again, we sunk all the stuff down so you can't see it. Um, so, yeah, the people won't walk through. But, yeah, I actually like how this building looks. Again, there's no air conditioning and stuff like that. The back is just the back. There's nothing there. Um, again, this is supposed to be just a regular real western village or town or whatever. Um, so then we're coming over here to Holy Roller. Um, we got this all done. So here is the little um, graveyard right here. You got a couple of the tombstones. I try to make them a little bit crooked here and there. Um, you got, I guess, like this would be the Undertaker. He's, you know, trying to dig up. Uh, another hole to get you know this this um, casket in the ground he's got an extra casket over here you know just some details here and there and I didn't try to make this like all flat like I liked it on like this little hill and stuff like that you know just it gives it a little bit more um, and then coming over to here you got your uh, your entrance way I just put the candles on it I just wanted it a little bit different from the rest of the places um, you know and this fencing and like you know I, I guess the um uh, i don't even know what they're called the um the corner piece I don't, I don't know what they're called but i just put some candles you know on the floor and you know actually on top of them and stuff like that because again it still needs some light um i, I didn't you know want to put like you know lights and stuff everywhere so you know i figured the little um uh candles look really cool you got a little crow up there and I'm not really sure what this is, but I kind of think it looks cool, so I just made it. Um, you know, it's another little, uh, you know, like covering for the, the path and stuff like that. And then here we come to our um, our church. Let me zoom out a little bit. So you got your custom, um, I don't even know what to call it, um, little bell tower. So I made a little bell tower, as you can see in there. Um, and then this whole like little uh, top piece uh, is all custom just with the wooden brackets and stuff like that um, you know because all the other the top pieces that they have in the game are like way too big so I just made my own with a little cross on it for the bell tower um, you yeah, know let's actually go inside actually for, for a little bit we'll just check out here just change the fencing up um, you know just a couple different fences make it more unique I hate how the door isn't lined up with the roof, but that's the best I'm going to do. Um, I, it, I love this wood, but the problem with this wood is they don't give you uh, like this wood in like smaller pieces, like columns and stuff. 
So to, for me to make an opening for the doorway was next to impossible without changing, you know, the wood and the style and stuff like that. So I just decided, you know what, they'll walk through the doorway and, you know, I actually like the door. It looks kind of churchy, I guess. So it looks pretty cool. Um, and here I just added like, you know, the, the floor and the ceiling. You got your one little light in here. Not a big deal. Um, again, I, I didn't, I didn't want to like overdo this because again, it's supposed to be the poor area. Um, so here we just got a nice little, you know, rope with all the lights on it. You know, we just got some beams going throughout. I figured these would like have the scriptures or something on it. I, I don't know. I'm really not a church person, so I'm not really knowing what a church would look like. Um, I just like Googled Western old church. But um, here we just got like some nice wooden brackets, uh, you know, the, the actual roof overhangs. Um, so I like the look at that and I kind of like it open on this side. I thought it looked kind of cool So I just added this like, you know, little design here. Um, just put a little clutter with a couple of cowboys um, Figure the one guy's hiding in the corner. This guy greets you when you come back um, I'm gonna have to up the population. I think it's 11. So with this ride it makes it 11 12 13 14 15 and then I guess 16 with the elixirs place now, so I I guess the population's up to 16, so it's kind of growing. Um, yeah, I just added some, like, you know, rocks and, and some of this, uh, like, weeds and stuff like that. You know, just to try to uh, make it look a lot, I guess, alive. Um, here we have these wooden... I didn't really want to make, like, a whole, like, wooden um, um, uh, custom, bra uh, custom uh, supports and stuff. Um, so I just decided to use these pieces, which I've used before on, uh, I think the polar bear, uh, ride that's in Carla's Gardens. Um, and I, I figure they do the job. They look good. Um, you don't have to go crazy with it. I kind of like the way it looks. Um, again, same thing. I just try to make like, you know, some stuff over here. I don't want to go too crazy with the clutter. So you just, you know, you got to figure the horse would be tied up to here and, you know, just... I might add some like rocks or something here. I haven't really finished it yet, but um, again, I don't know what's gonna be on like the path from here to the next town. So when I figure that out, maybe this area will get like, you know, more done. Um, yeah, then I just added some of the, uh, the cactus or cacti, um, this wind thing. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, little stuff here and there, nothing crazy. Um, but I figure, you know what, why don't we just go ahead and take a ride on this, what I call it, Holy Roller? Yeah, let's just take a ride on Holy Roller, and, uh, you can see for yourself, alright? Yeah, so that was Holy Roller. Um, that was pretty good. I like it. It's a pretty nice family coaster. I don't like. I said I don't want to go crazy. Um, I kind of like it. Um, and then also, I did all the um, the lighting. My dog wants to walk around like to get on camera. All right, buddy, get out of here. Um, yeah, let's go switch it to night and see what it looks like. Turn this hub off. Yeah, so we'll come over here. We have the uh, Lyrics Elixir. Um, you know, just nicely lit, nothing crazy. Um, and then you have over here, you got the Holy Roller. Again, I like all the candles. I wanted to do some different lighting. You know, you just got this one candle out here. Uh, the Grave uh, Digger, the Undertaker. You know, he's got his little light, his lantern. And then again, I just love how these little uh, candles are on the floors in the corner. Um, oh, that one's floating. <laughs> I have to fix that one. 
Um, yeah, I just think that looks really cool. And then you got the one light uh, over here on the actual uh, coaster itself. And then you come in here, you got the one light here. And then I think all the lights in here look pretty good. Yeah, I think it's pretty well lit. I even put a light in the clock tower, um, the bell tower, so it actually, um, you know, uh, makes that look kind of cool. And then also in these, um, um, these little structures here, I added a light there. And then over here you got, uh, you know, a couple lights in here. So I guess the, the nighttime ride is a little bit different. Um, you know, let's go ahead and take a trip at, you know, let me take a ride at night too. Let's see how it is. I haven't even done it, so let's go for a ride. All right, so that's the ride at night. I thought it was pretty good, except for the lit city buildings over in the corner. Um, I think the lighting on this looks pretty cool. Um, I think the next time I will get an update, um, maybe I'll start building a post office or something over here, and then maybe a train station. The big train station might appear around here. And again, the train station's gonna go that way to our next town, which I don't even know what it's called yet, but... Um, yeah, in between the trains, uh, you know, there'll be a lot of scenery and stuff like that. So, you know, it's going to take a lot of theming to do. So we might not see this park for maybe a little while. But, you know, the Serenity Now one I'll try to do every week. Uh, again, if you want to work in this park, it's not like Serenity Now. There's no backstories or crazy stories, you know, or the realism or stuff. But if you do want to, you know, be in the park... Just, you know, leave a comment down below and I'll get you a job inside the park in one of the four lands or the four towns. Um, yeah, just, uh, I guess, leave a like and a comment. Um, a subscribe would really help, too. You know, that really helps me out with this YouTube thing. Um, I think the only thing we have left to do is, you know, let's go ahead and open this ride. Let's... There we go. Yeah, so this ride's open, and I'm pretty sure, yep, the crowd, the crowd's gonna come over here. So now this ride's officially open. Um, again, this land, the, this town only has a little more to go, and then it should be pretty much done. So I guess just join me in the next one, and um, I guess I'll just see you then. Alright, bye.